hey girl hey i'm desiree welcome to my channel in this video i will be showing you guys how i go from this to this um as you can see i needed a touch up and i wanted to go a bit lighter this time so yeah let's get right into this video just a quick reminder to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel come join the family all three of those actions are free and it really does help me out thank you in advance <laughs> so these are the supplies you will be needing i am trying some new products out today i will be using the age beautiful line i will try my best to list everything that i use down below whether it be on amazon or sally's i did order my items off of sally's and y'all i did not think the developer would be that small but i'm just bleaching my head today so it will be enough but yeah i got all of these items from sally so you should be able to um, obtain them from sally's as well and don't forget the gloves girl don't be trying to don't try it okay So here is another before you guys <laughs> don't come for my kitchen okay my kitchen always looks crazy okay I really just need to get that buzz cut because it really doesn't grow like that right there um in the back of my head so y'all don't come for me okay and while we at it did you subscribe yet come join the family <laughs> stop playing with me okay but um yeah after this i'm gonna go ahead and just section the hair off in four sections and we will get started with the bleaching okay i do also want to note that my hair is dirty i always like to bleach on dirty hair never bleach on clean hair freshly washed hair um you know try to bleach on hair that you know you've worn a style and you kind of wore the style out and it's you know almost time to wash that's the perfect time to go in and bleach you do not want a freshly washed scalp in that bleach girl you is asking for trouble okay I'm only using 20 volume developer this time around because I am bleaching my hair twice in one day in order to achieve a lighter effect um, I would just wanted a lighter blonde basically so um, yeah the 20 volume worked fine and I did find that using the ion protein filler along with the aged beautiful products it um, my hair was pretty fine like it was you know pretty intact and you know no, no kind of crazy damage like I'm damaging my hair but I just feel like using these products was better especially since I bleached my hair twice in one day and using 20 volume developer you know was way better than using like a 30 or 40 and frying my hair <laughs> As far as application, I like to start from the back and go towards the front. Um, for me, the back hair is more like stubborn and the front hair tends to turn, um, you know, bleach faster than the back. So I always like to start in the back and work my way towards the front. And then I also like to make sure as I'm going, I'm pressing that bleach in. As you can see, I pretty much just sew each, each section in bleach and um, once I'm done with the top half, I will literally just keep pressing it in and make sure that bleach is being distributed all the way through. Trust me, I've learned my lesson. This is not my first time bleaching my hair. This is like the fifth, sixth, or seventh time. I can't even count. Um, and I always miss hair. So just make sure you are saturating that hair, okay? I always end up with a piece that did not get bleached. So yeah, make sure you are saturating that hair in bleach and as far as this application i'm really just focusing on the roots 
For the second application, I will be doing the tips since the tips are already blonde. Um, but yeah, you guys will see how good this bleach is. It really got the hair like super light. Like my roots were lighter than my tips. So I was just looking like, okay, well, I can literally just go bleach my tips and not have to re-bleach my roots. So that is what I did. And you guys will see that. So yeah, I did bleach my hair twice in one day, but technically not because I only did the roots and then the tips. But you guys will see what I think about the outcome at the end of the video. So stay tuned. I also want to note that I got the idea to use these products from a YouTuber. Her name is Loraja Andrea. If you know anything about hair or bleaching wigs or anything about hair and you don't know who she is, like, girl, what are you doing? So I'll link her channel down below. I um, watched her bleaching video and I decided to give the age beautiful products a try. I like to try new products when bleaching my hair especially if they are good quality a good brand um i don't really use the beauty supply um bleaching products anymore because it's not really good for your hair um i notice when i use better quality products like the age beautiful products or like ion or um, just other products out of like sally's um, my hair turns out better it looks it just looks nicer and it feels less damaging So this is about halfway into the bleach sitting on my hair. It's been on my hair for about 15 minutes. I always like to do a temp check in between. Um, I let the bleach sit on my hair for a total of 30 minutes. But you guys can see here, it looks a bit, little bit lighter because the bleach is still on my hair. But the bleach is working, okay? And this is 20 volume developer, okay? So you don't need nothing super strong to get the results you need. And it actually doesn't even look too brassy. And then for the shampoo and condition process, I'm actually going to be using the Age Beautiful products as well. And they actually felt really good on my scalp. So next I'm going to put the Ion Protein Filler on my hair and let that dry down. Once that dries down, it takes about 20 minutes. I'm going to go in with the second process of bleach, which is the same mixture, but I did use a little bit of Ion 30 Volume Developer just because I ran out of 20 volume and I only did the ends of my hair. I did not redo the roots because the roots were lighter than the ends of my hair so i did like the lightness that the original bleaching of my roots got to so i just went in and did my ends this time i also want to note that i only let this sit on for about 10 minutes so i did not let it sit on long like the first time just about 10 minutes that's how long I let it sit
For the toning process, I am using the H Beautiful Toner in Pearl Blonde and the 10 Volume Developer by H Beautiful. I also did put about a, an ounce of protein filler in there as well and I let the toner sit on for about 20 to 25 minutes. Anytime I do anything like this to my hair, I always like to go in with some sort of mask, deep conditioning mask, just to tell my hair, hey, look, don't be mad at me, girl. I got to do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? So don't be mad and fall out on me, okay? Just, I love you, okay? <laughs> Hey y'all, so this is me a couple of days later after bleaching my hair. I always like to come on camera, I don't know, after I bleach my hair. Because, you know, when you bleach your hair, like, I don't know, anybody else experiences when I bleach my hair, I never like it the first couple days. Like, I feel like the color just looks a little crazy, like it's still kind of settling in. So, I never like it like those first few days. And then especially like when you do a new hairstyle, y'all already know how it go. You really don't know how it look until you put that makeup on and you get, you get yourself together. So I just wanted to show y'all what this hair looks like with, um, this is the end product. I actually, I'm thinking about going in and toning my roots because I don't know if I said it in the clip, but, um, I didn't really put the toner on my roots because by then my scalp was pretty sore so I didn't want to um, stress my scalp out anymore and like as soon as that toner was touching my roots it was burning so I didn't really put it on my roots too much and I feel like you can see that like can you see that but that's the only thing I don't even know if that's something that I'm gonna do for real for real like you can't really tell for real unless I do like a twist style and even then I feel like it don't look too crazy um everybody around me is like you don't need to do it it's fine but I'm like girl I don't know y'all let me know should I tone my roots or not um I do have another hairstyle coming up that I'm gonna try where I, I'm gonna straighten my hair basically so that's what's concerning me I'm like I don't want to straighten it and it looks funny but we will see by then i might have some roots grown out so it might it might be no and void by that point so but this is the final look um i just kind of did like a braid out um i wore a braid out yesterday and um i didn't i didn't braid out my um rebraid because i went to sleep last night so i wore a braid out yesterday went to sleep last night and i only braided down the front part so the back is a little it's not as defined as the front as you can see it's not as defined as the front but it's still cute 
so we're gonna make it do what it do okay so um but yeah tonight when i go to sleep i'm gonna braid everything but um it still looks cute from the front so that's really all that matters um no the kitchen matters too <laughs> it matters but yeah i just wanted to show y'all the final look this is a couple like maybe a week later I, I bleached my hair last weekend and it's saturday so it's a week later um so this is what it looks like a week later it's very cute i've been getting a lot of compliments on it um i love it and i wasn't sure like every time i bleach my hair i'm never sure about the outcome because I'm not a professional. <laughs> so I was just like, I don't know what's gonna give. And you know, the first couple of days I wasn't feeling it because I'm like, it's uneven and it looks crazy, but it's cute. It's cute, I did that. I don't know why I be down myself because I did that girl. Period. Yeah, like I said, I just wanted to come on and show you guys the final result of me bleaching my hair. This is what it's given. Let me know what y'all think. Did y'all, you know, are you going to try to bleach your hair? Or are you going to try to do what I did? I'm not a professional, so if your hair fall out, sis, don't try to be, you know, coming for me because I'm not a professional. I'm just showing y'all what I do with my hair, okay? Um, but yeah, that is gonna be it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you enjoy content like this, um, hair content. Um, I could definitely do some more. Y'all go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out. Um, but yeah, like I said, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I did enjoy making this content for you guys. And I hope you enjoy watching it. And I do want to thank you for watching. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that shit. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.